Aloha. Welcome to paradise. Aiea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 17 team in the country, the Texas Tech Red Raiders, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors for EA Sports. with the opening kickoff. Bringing it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Red Raiders' offense takes the field. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Collisions and power on display, and after all of that, just back to the line of scrimmage. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. Give to the running back. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They're going to ride this running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. The Red Raiders want to pick up the tempo. Off the play fake. Right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And the Red Raiders will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. Going for it all. And the ball is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the deck. And how about that play by the defense here early in this game opening drive, facing one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football, and they're able to get an interception. That is going to be massive for their confidence in this game. down here for the offense. And off from the shotgun. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. Running back searching for a hole. Just willed his way for a couple after the 35. After picking up a couple at second and eight. One back in the backfield. He gets to carry. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. And the Rainbow Warriors are on the move. They go to the draw. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to 
come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You gotta go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You gotta do a better job on the perimeter. It's not gonna be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You gotta go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked. And they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They'll keep it on the ground. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Trying to pick up a first down. He'll pull it on the read. Hides a crease at the 20. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Rainbow Warriors are threatening in the red zone. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. The give to the back. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. It's wise not to be too greedy and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And this one splits the uprights. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. So after the main field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Pulled it, finds his man on the left. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Second down. The run to the left. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It'll be a first and ten from the 29. He's going to pass. Finds his tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The Red Raiders in the hurry up. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. They've already moved the chains a couple of times on this drive. Now out close to midfield. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. To the air. It's Hammond. Just a short pass to the tight end. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. And the Red Raiders have it with a first and 10. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle. It's West. Catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. 
And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. UCLA is currently ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Terry Donahue, this has not been a blowout today inside the Rose Bowl. They're up by six over Michigan. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. On second down, looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Watkins. They get him down after he makes the catch. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Rainbow Warriors will move the sticks. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. Been really impressed watching this offense this year and how good they are on third down. The reason they're so efficient, they don't have penalties. They keep these third downs manageable. And they've got a special talent at running back that can find his way to the sticks. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Seven, Hawaii, three. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Leaves it with the back. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. The Rainbow Warriors are flying down the field. To the ground with the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full ten yards now. Got it. In the middle, it's Watkins. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And the Rainbow Warriors will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. The Red Raiders are in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Hammond. Fires to the tight end. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football. But this team, fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Off play action. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third. Grab behind the line. It's Grove. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. And the Red Raiders come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He's right on target. 
And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Right down the boulevard. It's good. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Batista. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Trying play action. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Trying to impose their will with the run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to get it through the air. Unloads to the wide out. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Rainbow Warriors line up to punt it away. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the stats. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They'll leave it with him. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. He's got 59 yards on the ground as he gets closer and closer to that magical 1,000-yard mark for the season. Leaves it with the running back. Running with power. And he left the first defender grabbing at air before he was finally tackled. The Red Raiders will hustle to the line. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. The incompletion brings up a second down. They'll run play action. Gets it out quickly. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. He's looking downfield to throw. Gets it out fast. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. And the Red Raiders will line up to punt it away. His first one of the day gave that leg a workout five times in last week's victory. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. 
What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And the Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself. And it's picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Red Raiders. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. On to attempt the try. The is on for the extra point. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. UCLA is on top, but it's not like Troy Aikman or Gary Beaven are playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by 10 over Michigan. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. You know this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Trying to find his man on first down. He's going to take off. Short gain on the play before he slides. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. The play action fake. Fires to the wide out. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Got his man. Knocked down immediately, but a big gain down to the 45. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Ball still at the 45. After the incompletion, they'll snap it second and 10. He's got his man. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Splits the uprights from 56. And he's got three on the board. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Texas Tech has it back, and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Grabbed in the middle. It's sticky. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's West. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. To the air on first down. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. This time, he's got his man, and he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. 
Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. He'll keep it himself. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Men, nice to see you actually showed up for today's broadcast in paradise, given all there is to do there in Honolulu. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's say aloha once again to the guys inside Aloha Stadium. The Red Raiders will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the move from inside is five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions. The coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a score. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here will be huge he'll be stopped short picks up one but they're facing fourth and one hauls it in and looking upfield he was hoping for a little more running room but they're able to get him down at the 45 and let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready gonna run it it's Dickey Gets away from one, finds some space. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. He's got 93 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. Off the play fake on first down. Got his man quickly. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man, and, and see the cushion, and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Pressure coming. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? Makes the grab. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are. In and makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders! They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. They'll try to get the first through the air. Tight end finds a soft spot. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. 
These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first one. The Rainbow Warriors are on the move. off to the single back a strong tackle and wrap up from the junior didn't get much on first down it's second and nine he's looking to throw quickly complete and a good job of coverage by that defense just a short pickup if every journey begins with a step this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast not all incompletions are the same. And listen, it's third down. I want to make a play. I want to throw the football down the field, get a first down. But sometimes it's the right decision to do what he just did. Don't make a big turnover. Don't make a big mistake. Just throw the football on the ground. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. To the air. It's Hammond. Got the quick pass. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. On the run, it's Dickey. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got enough for the first down. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Red Raiders have it with a first and ten. The give to the tailback. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Give him 109 yards on the ground, and he's been terrific all season, ranking in the top 10 in rushing. Going up top on first down. He let that thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves him with third and two. Trying to pick up a first down. He's looking to throw on third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. Here we go with the run on fourth down. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. The Red Raiders look to do some damage in the red zone. You know, in the modern era of college football, with everybody throwing it, it becomes harder and harder for running backs to put up big-time numbers. With that last carry, though, this guy's got a 1,000 yards rushing on the season. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Trying to show their strength with the run on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on down. First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. That'll be a beneficial run as he creates some breathing room and gets it up to the 13-yard line. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Still on his feet at the 25. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Texas Tech is on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. He's looking to throw it. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. 
Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Lost to fire on second down. Quickly to the tight end. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They keep attacking through the air. Keeps the play going. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. On third and long, he has to throw for it. It's complete. Makes the grab and knock down, and he's got it at the 25-yard line. Now on first down for this offense. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there. Get and I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And the Rainbow Warriors line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Rainbow Warriors! This running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. He'll try to tack on one more. And after making the extra point, they're down 24-13. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. This guy is so dangerous. The excellent vision to find a lane and get it out to set up the offense with good field position. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds his man down the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, that, that ball's not going anywhere. You just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. That was a nice catch right near the line of scrimmage. Man, you want to get some yak after the catch and try to make a play, but that defense was right on him. Got him on the ground too quick. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Red Raiders will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Buys a little extra time. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The Rainbow Warriors will punt it away on fourth down. He was trying to push it downfield. He was looking for a receiver, trying to make a play. You could tell the pressure started to get to him a little bit. Nowhere to go with the football and just fights back to the last scrimmage. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Catch in the middle. It's West. 
Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and ten from the 46. Back to pass. It's Hammond. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Now facing a third and long. They want to just keep throwing it. Working that left side now. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Now the play fake. Trying to get to it. Quarterback can't pull the trigger and down he goes at the 41. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Got a man. It's West. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. That makes the score. Texas 27, Hawaii. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hawaii offense returns to the field, keeping it on the ground with the running back. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. It'll be a draw. He has the first and still on his feet. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They're getting tremendous movement and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. They'll throw it on first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up at this point in the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Tackle, but he has a first down. And the Rainbow Warriors moving quickly to the line. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is... And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Keeps looking downfield. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Watkins. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get... And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. 
Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. He's looking to throw. He's got his man across the middle. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that they're looking at the quarterback. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now his 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays, and he is not co-op. Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball is picked off. Lowers those pads. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Using his legs, it's sticky. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. To the ground to try to move the chains. They'll pick up the first down as he gets it out to the 27-yard line. Timeout. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff, and these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen here. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff, understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been... Another presentation of EA Sports College Football.